Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to Busan Pockets. Um, it's Ash and Shadows, in case you haven't figured that out. Um, I want to try and complete this campaign this episode, and there shouldn't be too much standing in my way. I was hoping to get Shore 1 in the previous episode, but I forgot that this helicopter group does not actually come with a command unit. So, these two helicopters are just looking at each other, and not actually able to do anything. I first have to go through Yue Chang and Yong Diok in the southeast. Now these guys don't have a command vehicle, so they're cute, but they're not actually doing anything. Allows me to R&R &R some of these. And next time around we're probably going to see them coming in again, but again without a command vehicle. So these four are just here, well, pretty much doing nothing. Yong Diok, slightly different story. We have a couple of inf uh, no, sorry, not infantry tank units here, uh, still the S-25Ks, and some command units. Previously, I went in with the Venoms, going in with the rocket pods, getting a couple of kills, and training up the SEALs in the process. This time around, I'm just considering going in with the K-2 pips. These guys have plenty of APS charges, so even if that S-25K comes in, they should still be able to kill it. I do want some air cover. Uh, we'll just send in the F-16s, and that should be enough. Let's see what they have in store today. Alright, I'm not going to even uh, bother with Daegu. Let's switch this in for an infantry command unit. And the rest of it is just going to be tanks. Six of them should be enough. Yeah, actually, let's make it a group of four. Because with a group of four, they have a better chance of fending off enemy AGGMs. And I'll have them escorted by two Pegasi and then a reconnaissance unit. That should do. <coughs> Alright. Move straight towards that area. And let's see if the S25 wants to come out to play. The range on these isn't fantastic, it's 3850, which, yes, provided, is far better than the vanilla range on most AA platforms. But still, in this game, or this mod, it might not be enough. There's a command unit. There's two tanks down. They only have three commands, so... Ah, there we go. has kicked in. He has a turbine failure, but he's not going to go down. All right. A couple tanks moving through here. Easy pickings. Looks like they decided to deploy most of their tanks, if not all of them right now. Is that ready to fire on these things? 10 rounds a minute. Yeah, no surprise here. I have to relocate a little. And try and not have these things be subjected to an artillery bombardment. Too late, apparently. Um, couple of units coming in. Okay, one should fix that. Crap. There's a fairly good chance my reconnaissance won't survive this. There, he's safe. This is just a turkey shoot. These guys stand no chance. They have no firepower, they have no armor, nothing. So naturally, right at this moment, they start doing damage to my K2s. Starting to run. But we still have one of them here. 
one or two tanks have survived. These guys are panicked due to the artillery bombardments. Could I capture all the sectors? Oh. They decided to send a command unit over here. Jeez, we're starting to run out of main gun ammo. 22 rounds left. Hold on. We've got a pretty big gun sitting there. Whatever it is, it's able to do damage. Let's bring Raycon in and see exactly what they have over there. Oh, that could be it. It could have been a Tokchon going for direct heat munitions. And that was the one that probably did the damage. Alright. Find that command unit, shut it down. Keep the AA close. Hold on. That's another artillery unit. Five points, keep going. Aircraft. Hit. Hit. Critical hit. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I don't think I actually killed that command vehicle already. I think that he might still... Hold on, I lost my K-111s. Oh! Ow. Let's give some. Hmm. Yeah, these things are firing for get missiles, probably. Go. I hope those missiles actually do anything. One hit? Come on, a little bit more. There you go. Alright, so one hit barely does any damage. I thought I saw a fob here somewhere. Wherever did that go? Oh, command unit. What's that? Artillery. More artillery. This is probably a stationary artillery gun. Yeah, I think this is one of those things using as heat munitions. There. Just trying to line up for another shot. Ten rounds left. Kill on both. Here he comes again. few more points and I can call in the AA. Or at least something to start challenging the issue 25. Hit, hit, and just does one point of hit point damage. That's it. Critical hit, and he was not able to kill it, unfortunately. Alright, so their command is still over there. And I have yet to find their last command unit over here. I just hope they don't evac it. Well, they're not strictly evacing it, they're just driving it away. There. Oh, I think they did retreat the battle group. Yep, but didn't really work out. Okay, so that's that done. End the turn. Now I need to be pushing fast towards Sokcho. Ah, damn it, I'm getting bogged down here. Uh, HGM infantry, couple of helicopters, Suzan Po HGMs, SU 100s. These are nasty. 26 AP is going to be quite a bit of firepower. 
MI-25s. Um, these things do not have any APS, nor do they have any AA with them. Fine. I'll have to wait for the rest of the battle group to catch up. Because without any AA, this is going to be a, uh, well, a longer, more complex fight. So let's send these in. I think that the Super Cobras with their AM9s can be handy. Although, I really want to go for this area. But I just cannot power through this sector. I cannot airlift anything over it either. Hmm. So they have planes, recon helicopters, a few units of infantry, and a few MI-25s. What, what else can I call in from the US? US Marine Regiment, Patriot Pack 3s, good range against helos, pretty good range against planes. Disembark. Unfortunately, actually no, they do have initiative left. Alright, good, you're going. And I want the air group here. Does that make sense? AOE bombs, yeah. And the other one? Prowlers? I don't think I need the prowlers. They don't really have any AA nor anything else that's locatable. So no. No prowlers. Still, I want to get this fight done soon. And I need to have at least some sort of defensive unit in Seoul, otherwise I will not be able to defend against any oncoming threat. And Seoul is a critical zone. So let's do Char 1 first. I have Seoul, I have 7 Cohesion, they just have a bunch of uh, tanks, infant well, no, not tanks, infantry, HGMs, a couple of helos. Uh, I unfortunately do not have any long range anti-tank, unless I bring in the helicopters. Then again, they don't have any AA. I'm bringing the Helos. Uh, not the Firehawks, but I would like these. Tour 1. Go. Okay. FOB's going to be important. I want to keep that thing secure. Although there's not a lot of cover in this particular area. They have a lot of reinforcement routes. Sokcho, Donggei, Sandang and Pyongyang. I would like to hit all of them. Because they only have four... Actually no, they have four command infantry and two command helo. Um, let's see, these things do five HE. These do two HE against helicopters. So a Patriot here and a Patriot there. Might also be able to shoot down enemy jets. I have a couple of M60 ERAs. Uh, let's start up with an Apache. Unfortunately, there's not enough tree line left here to... Oh, actually, I can park it over the bridge and save myself the takeoff. There. Um, normally, I just go in a counterclockwise rotation. Go to Sandang, Donggei, uh, Echo, Sokcho, Pyongyang. I'm considering going the other way around. Because with the marines, I can capture these buildings. And I get a pretty good reinforcement route. So let's do it in reverse. I'll have a couple of marines going there. Like that. Uh, these things are pretty fast on road. They're both wheeled vehicles. But I'll take the Avengers because they're a little bit faster and a little bit more diverse. We're versatile in this match. Uh, fire support vehicle. Oh, sorry, those are LVMs. Where are my fire support vehicles? They didn't all get killed. I refuse to believe that. A um, couple of super cobras and some planes. And an LV scout here. Also, a command unit to come in slightly later. Ah, I miss it by two points. Whatever. Okay, go around. 
I want all of you to wait. Command just to spot first. You guys hold back. There's a command helicopter flying off. That's probably recon helo flying in. Really? You cannot kill that? There. You should be able to get the MI2D. Oh, he's even grounded. Or landed, rather. Okay, I was not expecting that thing to hit, actually. Uh, here's my recon. Or my command. These things have aim fours. Oh, crap. This is going to be pretty painful if they're able to drop everything. Not sure that they are. Sure hope not. Hold. They did kill an Avenger. Give me a few more. These guys still have three out of four missiles left. Look at that. This thing just takes three missiles and still survives. One missile left. There's another one down. I should go for this. Damn it, Marines full back. M60s, this is your fight now. What are we looking at? Oh. Those things. If those get a shot off, they can one-shot the M60s. There. Those birds. Let's get these in. Get you out. Full health Avenger. Going for the MI 25. Alright, Comanche is still alive. Apparently, they decided not to capture Sandang or Donghei. I know they tried capturing this one and I killed the command vehicle there, but I'm not sure if I killed any others. That was an ATGM. Or, well, a trial for an ATGM. What the hell? Oh, ATGM infantry. Are these guys landing? Patriots moving forward a little, trying to get a shot off on the MI-8s. We have some ground vehicles moving around, but they're logistics trucks. There's more ATGMs up there. Damn it. Let's hope that this bomber can get its bombs off before... There. bomb this part of the town. The M60 is going to have to wait up a little bit because they are running any sort of AA that I might have left. Which is not a whole lot at this point. Does this kill the helos? Uh, no, it killed a whole lot of other stuff. Which is nice. What is that? 28 points? Oh, damn, as you win hundreds. Is that... Yeah, there's a couple of ATGM units. Let's get these guys something to shoot at. Now what? Cobras are here, doing good work. More Suzong Po, naturally. Drop off. Oh, crap. Oh, command helicopter's just flying out. Okay, 
hold off. Just gonna have to bomb the place first. Here come the planes again. Lots and lots of them. Lost an LVTP. Shot down an A50 or an A5I, I think. Yeah, that probably thinned them a little. Let's move up. There's the command unit. Pretty vulnerable, if you ask me. I hope I can get that thing in here safely. Neutralize the sector and keep going forward. Let's see if we can get a couple of bombs on these Suzong posts. Wonder which way they're gonna turn. Mm, anything? Not really. I did see some sparks, so I did hit something. Not entirely sure what. There's another command unit. Is that their last one that they have deployed? Ah, there's another one. Oh. We'll fall back then. These Marines weren't doing too well. Is that the last command helicopter flying off? Because I think we got the one that was parked there. If it is, I'm going to try and intercept it before it lands somewhere and deploys further reinforcements. Jesus, how many infantry do they have in this town? I could really use those rocket pods right about now. Yeah, I'm not gonna capture these. Just blow them up. Okay, that's another one down. What are these actually, the Pyongay? Special forces, aren't they? Ah, damn, they captured Echo. Is my Apache still good? Yeah, it is. Kill the Sea Cobra. Guess I got them a little too close. Ah! These guys! I just used those in Bear vs. Dragon. Right, now I remember who these are. And how lethal they can be. Especially against tanks. That's something that they are really, really good at taking down with that HJ-12. For some reason he decided not to drop. Thanks for that. unit. It really can't be too far now. There. There you go. Alright, that's them down. I just hope that we won't see any others just making these faint attacks on my forces. It's gonna slow me down. Now, as for what I want to keep moving... I want to get the M1A1s to the front line. I still have... what are you again? Ah, there's the fire support vehicles. These are M60, they have one command unit. So do these. Uh, this group is a little bit more diverse in dealing with anything, so I'm going to send forward the 25th armored. Let's check on southeast. Daegu. Coming in with a very, very small contingent of forces couple of helicopters as well. Just the four of them. Do I have AA here? I don't have AA here. I believe I had an anti-air company somewhere. Yeah, these. The second anti-air. Alright, Daegu again. 
it's just these and a couple of aerial units. And the rest are, well, survivors from previous encounters. I wonder where they're going to deploy those helicopters. Pegasi and K263, okay, good. One there, one there. Here. What's your range? 26, 25, 3500. Let's go with a command here. I should have brought an additional command unit, but whatever. We'll make do. My tanks are starting to get whittled down, so I'm going to more heavily rely on infantry, which I also managed to kill quite a few of, come to think of it. A couple of them here. I want a tank or two guarding this place. I want to have two tanks with them here. A reconnaissance unit. Lots of vehicles and infantry left. Let's hand this town off to the Yebigun this time around. There. And the helicopters are coming in. Hope I can keep these safe. Okay. There's a fairly good chance that that was most of their helicopter force in one go. Now let's check. Send some resupplies here. And just start pushing towards this area. Can we see what we killed? Barely, because they're terrain clipping again. Okay. What the hell are you? Oh. T-55 reconnaissance. No, T-55 napalm. No, I have the metis on these missile or on these uh, infantry units. I hope that's enough. Oh yeah, that's enough. In the AA. Naturally, they go immediately on the offensive and take out a couple of transports. That's a tank down. Pegasus is engaging. Good hit. Turbine failure. Hit. And a kill. Oh, that's your command unit. question is, where did your other command unit go? Ah, there you are. That artillery is getting really annoying. Best way to deal with already generally use your own. Where do you think you're going? Okay, so that was 100 points, but that was not the end of it. Oh! Interesting. <clears throat> they apparently decided to go for Busan. Is that it? Yeah. That's their last command unit, I think. This helicopter group generally doesn't have too many. There we go. That's the last of them. Report. Aviation destroyed. The engineers still have some units left. I don't think I saw too many of them, with the exception of the 55s. And then Yue Chang, probably the same faint attack, because they, yeah, they still have no command unit. Okay, anybody here wants to go on R&R? Nope. Anybody here? And turn. There we go. Armor Regiment en route to Seoul. 
Uh, MiG-29s, okay. Yeah, there's your armored regiment. T-80 UNKs with a couple of AA units in support. They're going to come in on this side. They're going to come in from Yonan. That's there. I would really appreciate being able to use Marines against them, but I don't think I have anything that can do that. Because I really don't want to send any Marines back. Also, they have quite a bit of AA, none of which are targetable by seed aircraft. That's unfortunate. Oh, they're doing a feint attack on Chor 1. It's going to lock down my units. Okay, in that case, I want to have one of the Marine Regiments go back. And let's see what they have here. Yeah, just too much at the moment. Okay, Chor 1. Ah, they're not locked down. Good. That means we're going to keep charging. And just power right on through the Sokcho. Which I might be able to take this battle. I'm looking at 100 units of infantry. Various types. Byonge, so those are the elite forces. Jokyoke, 15 man, very good shock trained. Uh, or uh, shock trained. What else do we have? ATS 103s, helicopters. No air support. None. Do they have the means to shoot down enemy or my planes? Some. They only have four Strela. Just to check, because some of these North Korean units are or can be armed with AA. Looks like not at this moment. I have three points. I have the M60s. I have my helicopters. Let's see if my planes can reach that far. Tornadoes, yes they can. Uh, what else does the Nimitz have? Corsair. I don't know if they can reach that. Nope, they can't. They just have five pips. What about that strike group? Multi-rolls. The multi-rolls will be able to reach it, but I'm not sure if I even need them to. I do want this helicopter group here. Mostly to just counter whatever they might bring in to Chore 1. But I don't think there's going to be another round in Chore 1. Alright, Sokcho. Um, the one thing that concerns me is that I only have 24 units of infantry. They have a lot of cohesion. They have a lot of firepower here. And they can just keep throwing infantry at me all day. So I'm going to have to try and spot them with the Comanche, bomb them with the tornadoes before they even get close. Hold on to this sector, use the tanks, use the LAVMs, and use FOBs as well as Marines to try and hold on to that position. Just keep rotating weakened Marines out and heal them back up. I didn't actually check how many command units they have. Alright. Um, Marines first. We'll go for full-fledged groups of four. Like that. And for the rest of them, we're going to go hunting. Oh, also, they have a couple of helicopters, which are probably going to come this way fairly soon. Two bombers. Go. Drop off. Uh, drop these off. Income of plus eight. That's good, and that means I can call in tornadoes more often. I want you going dark. The LAVs to fall back a little bit. Spotted something. Is that a helicopter? No, that's logistics. Does that make you a command unit? Where do you need us, sir? It does, doesn't it? What was that? Missile was right on target, and you got him. Bombs away. A couple of hits. Not really too many confirmed kills here. That's better. Yeah, we can handle a couple of Korshun.
Alright, let's keep scouting, keep bringing in the Comanches. Looks like the MD500s are now coming to play. I might be able to shoot a couple of them down with the stingers. Especially if they're clumped up like that. And in the meanwhile, as you're not actually moving these helicopters, let's see if we can bomb them. Not the most elegant way of killing off helicopters, but it definitely works. Alright, you've expended all your stingers. Those are logistics trucks. I want to see large concentrations of troops, but so far I haven't really seen any. Let's see if my plane can shoot down some more helos. Getting some hits. And here I thought they had 100 units of infantry coming at me. They still can do that, but they don't really seem to be in a hurry to do so. Oh, they recaptured Delta. Patriots are now going on point. Kill. Comanche taking on missiles. One more stinger. And you're up. Patriots are going to have to step things up because they're under fire. Healed up Patriot moving forward, and the other one reversing. Ah, there you are. I was hoping you'd come in. Trying to get enough lead here. Nope. We still have time. Come. Drop them before they get here. What the hell was that? That wasn't even close. These are very, very thinly armored transports. And they cannot even kill those. Alright, find, find a way to make these things work. Marines should be able to keep them at bay for a bit. Ah, the ATSs are showing up. Right on top of the Patriots. Closer and wiping them all out. I did lose three of my Patriots. One survivor. Well, I hope they don't have any helos left. Would be unfortunate if they did. Infantry on infantry. Never 
Where did my Apache go? Oh, there you are. Let's do another scout run. See what I can spot before they come in close. Stuff like, I don't know, a command unit maybe? Did the AI suddenly get notified that I was about to bomb it? It escaped. Come here, you. These are semi-actives. I have to kill it quickly before it reaches the cover of the tree line. This one back to base and repaired, and cycle out new Comanche. Sniper team coming towards me. And of course, a lot more transports. <coughs> How? Oh, this trailers must be over Kosong. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. The sky is ours. Where do you need us, sir? I think my helicopters are firing from the ground to the ground. What do we have here? A couple more BTR 70s, I believe. Or BTR 60s. I'm not gonna say those bombers are useless, but they sure take their time aiming. Alright, this should be easily shooting these transports before they get close. Allowing my infantry a bit more time to kill them. Where do you need us, sir? That would have been on target if they'd have kept moving. Where do you need us, sir? What are your orders, sir? All right, let's start pushing back. Corsions generally are very, very blind units. Poor optics. The only thing that they can do is hope to come close enough <coughs> to be able to spot for themselves. But that's about all they can do. Sniper team. Who are they trying to shoot? of my tanks. There. That's a lot of infantry right out in the open. Let's see if we might be able to spot the command unit here. Where's the other command sheet here? troop movement coming in. I hope they're going to be right about here when those bombs land. That would allow me another good kill. Come on. Yeah, no, they survived. They are getting stunned, though. Yeah, they just whacked an M60. I think pushed out a little too far, I think. My bad. What are your orders, sir? 
Still have LEVs. Not sure if I'm going to need those too much. Yeah, might as well. Short range on these infantry could be fairly handy. Also, time to use the LAVs, or the LVTPs. Where's your command? It can't be too far. Assume threat. Is that all... Yeah. The AI being up to its usual, unusual tactics, decided to deploy all of their infantry and just rush in with the transports. For some reason or another. Lost an LVTP. Is that it? What is it with these bombers? Oh, shit. Guess we found the AA team. Turbine failure, but otherwise alright. Okay, these guys look like they need a bit of resupplying. 48 rounds left. Full back. So where's the last command? Is that it? That's probably it. Yep, that's the one. Alright, I'll fire away. Let's see if we can wrap this campaign up with this missile. Uh, no. Not the last command. So where is it? Start pushing out here. Uh, do I have enough to capture all the sectors? Yes, I do, but it's not too much. I have no margin. So where are they hiding the last command? And do I really have to spend another 20 minutes looking for it? Park out there in the open. Get resupplied. Command you forward. Hold off on firing. Shit. So somehow these tanks are being spotted. Somebody got it. Yep, somebody got it. Losses? Three Patriots, an M60, and a transport. Fair. Uh, is that it? Yep, that's it. Total victory. <laughs> Done. Okay, so that's the end of the Busan Pocket campaign. Next thing I'll be doing is looking into that Scandinavian campaign that some of you guys have referenced. I'm really interested to see how exactly they have changed the campaign. Now this will be without Ashen Shadows, so I'm going to drop that for a bit. I might return to it later, but for now I'm really interested to see how that other campaign is going to play out. What they have in store, what sort of units they decided to use, what sort of opposition I can expect. So hopefully by tomorrow, if I can get it working, I'll have another video up on that. Until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these Ashen Shadows campaigns. And let's see what other campaign we can muster up. See you soon.